And we are back. So we're Wait. about to launch round three yeah, of the, the draft. draft of day two. We have so we have uh, two similar decks. So we have Clément Soisson against Michael Lacourcio. Yes. Uh, so one is playing Fire and Wind, and the other one is playing Fire yeah. and, and Water. Uh, water, water, yes. Yes, Water. Oh, okay, I'm surprised the Water is just <laughs> next to the Fire on the deck yes. list. So, yep, yeah, as the handshake is there, we're ready to start. Um, we, we are gonna feature against some light and dark cards on, yes. on both sides, uh, like this one. Yeah, for, they both play Medin, <laughs> so that's gonna be quite interesting. So yeah, they just uh, you can only s s do it during your turn if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yeah, and he uh, he costs less if you have received more points of damage, but he does damage to all the forwards. And Ark does the same thing, but he reduces power and. Uh, and you take damage. And you no no it's. Uh, it's that this one. Ah oh, no you draw. You draw cards for each card that power became zero thanks yes. to this. And uh, the only difference is that he also has a very tough of the dark, so we're gonna see another one. And yeah. So yeah, on the on the on the left we have three, uh, light and dark cards which are. Insane, all the three. Yes. All three of them. So Mikael already opened with uh, Archangel, so he cannot be blocked by forwards of seven power, seven thousand power or more, and he can turn himself untargetable. And uh, he opened with also the Sabin, uh, not Sabin, the Edgar that we already seen in the previous game. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, Clément, in very nice. Uh, yeah. The Black March. Mage. Clément, Clément uh, responds in the same way. He plays Black Mage and then plays March. So March allows you to put a fire uh, a character um, in your hand from the top five cards that you have. Uh, that is fire. So we just yeah. chose the samurai, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. It was this or it's Yutsuyu, but I think it was samurai. Uh, it was I think samurai. it was samurai. Yes. So we just this chose guy. to add it. And then passes uh, another archangel, for another archangel being discarded. So this Archangel is the one you see the most in draft usually because... This guy with the swords? Yeah, every time he attacks and inflicts damage, the damage is doubled. And also when he attacks, he gains 3,000 power until the end of the turn, so that makes him a, an effective 9,000 damage, uh, for power, rather, so that's pretty... It's, yeah, that's pretty big. You it's don't want to block him because you know you're going to die, but if you don't, oh, yeah, you, yeah, you, you take two damage, which is a lot in draft, because you three it's attacks from this guy and you're dead. It's Always a lot, but especially in draft. Oh, Echo being played. Echo. Uh, we didn't put her, it seems. Ah. Well, Echo uh, allows you to search for um, a summon. Yeah, and put it on top. Yeah, no. I think it's on the top. I don't think it's on the hand. So he's trying to find a way to, to deal uh, with the Archangel. No, it's actually in the hand. You search, actually, just okay. search for a summon. Maybe this is a cost restriction, I don't remember. Um, so yeah, Brunhildir now in hand, he, he knows, so it's most probably the response to the Archangel of Fire one. Yeah. Because you really don't want to deal with this guy. But how you gonna, yeah, you're but not gonna... he's still gonna going to attack, but obviously yeah. he's going to block it, so that was Echo's job. Oh, well, she's drawing a cow and she's leaving also, okay. Yeah. So effectively a good trade for Clément. Yes. Uh, obviously, the wind is uh, Archangel oh. is not going to attack, and we are we have the archer. The archer, yes. So she's like a cactor, except she doesn't deal you a point of damage, but she still inflicts <laughs> ten thousand damage to someone. Yes, but she's a cactor. Uh, so passing. Uh, we're gonna see. Uh, He's passed? No, yeah. uh, Mikael passed, right? Yeah, Mikael passed. Oh, yeah, okay. to come. Uh, we're gonna see if uh, we have some Medina arc action on Clemens for some side. It will start to get uh, really good now. If it was, if it is, for example, arc, yeah, because he would draw four. Yes. Uh, it doesn't seem yeah. to be, so three CP, yeah, just Brynhild, there's the Archangel and passes. Okay. So, pretty soft plays. He's still keeping his resources. Marsh can still block. I think he also wants to keep the march for now because he knows he blocks the archangel. So just dealing yeah. with the archer later is an option. Let's see if he has more than one Brynhild there. No, he only has no, one. No. Please. So it took one damage. Point of damage. Faith fire has to be Sabine. Yeah. No, it's water. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's water. What? 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 
Ah, the one that was uh, damaged. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a garnet. It's a garnet with 5k, yes. So he attacks with March. That's a Charlotta. He puts in the break zone. Damage zone, sorry. Uh, and another free CP going down. So this time, this is the Sid from Final Fantasy Legends. This guy. Yeah. So dealing 5k. If you control 5 or more backups, you deal 8k instead, but he can't. So this is just, yeah. You have to yeah. target something. He doesn't seem to have any uh, very big, like, cards in hand. So otherwise, he would probably... He has two cards in hand right now. Yeah. Oh, Eroa. So oh. Eroa is a very good card in draft to get. Both of them are playing it. Yes, because, uh, yeah, you can just... Uh, you uh, you increase the damage that she deals uh, for fire characters. Every fire character that you have deal 1,000 damage more. Oh, he's giving... He's giving a haste, haste with and brave with the Raid Mage. So, yeah, one damage. And this should be a second point of damage. Yeah, Well, first, exactly. but second on this turn. From Archer as well. Okay. So and he still goes. Ooh. This is interesting. So he's just. What does he have in hand? Um, pretty much anything that pings. Maybe he has a rain. Does he play the rain? Yeah, he has rain. Maybe. Okay. Maybe he drew rain, because rain would do the trick. So Clément is like wondering what's going on. So yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. How so did he activate it? He didn't activate it. She had Brave, but uh, since she got haste from Raid Mage, that means she can use her action ability, and the action oh, ability it's deals. Haste and Brave. Yeah. That's my okay. That's uh, my mistake. So Eroa then has the ability to dollar herself to inflict one thousand. Yeah. And since she so increases she all the damage for fire so cards, yeah. she did two K. Plus the free K from the Archangel, so oh, that deals the very nice. Saving, so very well played. Clément didn't see it. Oh well, there it is. There it is. Uh, I think you get rid of the Archer, but Archer is also a way of easily dealing with very close to the dark if you use the effect. Yes. So, oh yeah, <laughs> he's happy showing on stream. I top decked, yay! <laughs> My God. All right. You are better happy than crying. Mm. Okay, so yeah, it's this is the first decision. match we have this card on feature actually. All free play, all free. No, the second only. No, no, no. The first the game there was one too. Oh. <laughs> too many out. Opens. Everyone opens the opens this. Like what's going on? Yeah, so, so he, yeah, he, he decided to keep the archer yes. to deal with him. So just a uh, as a quick reminder, the, this is the archer's ability. Yeah. So, I mean, he, yeah, he just drew. I was like, if he drew a wind card, you just do it now. And he got rid of the the, the the red mage, which allows okay. him to play another one again. Well, he could have even... Yeah, because it's <laughs> uncommon. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So March, third point of damage from Mikael. Okay. And he plays a Yutsuyu. So Yutsuyu can be quite annoying as well, because she says that a forward of cost five or less cannot block. For this turn. And five or less is most likely nearly all the fours you get. Yes. So she's... Pretty much like the red mage that we know, the normal one, except that she has a restriction. And the hero. Uh, and oh, there we same go. thing. We've seen this song. Yeah, hero and the red mage again. So yeah. It's point of damage. I can't really tell what this is. Yeah, me neither. It seems to be another with water card. Oh, actually, no. That's a Medine. I think it's a Medine. Medine. Yeah, it's a Medine. He just uh, that's yeah, it looks like that's Medina. the only Medina of his deck, and it's in the in the damage zone now. But the board state doesn't really require a Medina at the moment, so yeah. So he has w the Arc remaining in his deck. <laughs> yeah, because you know, he's playing cards, good cards. Yes. So let's see what he do. What does he do now? So he chooses to inflict. Oh uh, yeah, okay, they, she can block. Bulking. Fifth, fourth point of, event of damage, sorry. And he plays the Aurora of his own. Everyone has his own copy. Mine are brave and haste. <laughs> well, it doesn't really. Well, I mean, if sh they would have traded if they wanted to, I guess. Uh, Another no, black at this mage. point it was, uh, it was tapped, though. It was dove. The Aurora? No, she attacked with red mage. 
Okay. So. Oh. Oh, Amaranth. So, oh, oh, flies. Oh. Amaranth. So Amaranth is a very good card to get in uh, draft. So you can choose either to uh, do 7,000 to a character uh, forward or to kill a monster. But obviously here you just deal the 7,000 and then attack for game. Amaranth. Yeah. Being uh, nice one. the strong guy. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> very tough. Yeah, showing off. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Clément. <laughs> Interesting, like this was not especially, that's, that was more back and forth than the previous one because they were really trading blows. Yes. But as we said, the dark <coughs> cards, like they were more light and dark cards in, um, in Claymore's deck, but in the end and it's very tough. That made a small difference. Strong ones. And well, yeah. But I mean, he dealt with it immediately. But it's just that's that, uh, yeah, he had to just lose a backup and a forward for it. So very tough making his job, basically. And afterwards, Amaranth finishing the job. Yeah, I, when, when I, I checked the list, I was like, okay, both decks seems pretty... Yeah, it like could be balanced. either way. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you have some very nice uh, bullets yes. on the left. Yeah. <laughs> Especially Veritas. So I'm going to check if uh, Clément wants to join us for yeah. the interview, and then we'll be right back. All right, so we're back with Clemence, who just won, so congratulations. Thank you. Um, so you seem very happy to have dropped the Veritas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it didn't do like that much, but the fact that he dealt with a forward and then forcing to this card to deal with an end and breaking a backup it is like, he it, it did his job eventually. Veritas is like the biggest tempo card you can get in a in draft. In scale, in draft. Yeah. Almost, I think Cloud may be better, but uh, Veritas it was pretty much insane. I knew that uh, whatever I chose, I would have chosen uh, Ira in, to attack uh, against the Veritas instead of Archer. Oh. So I would have swapped what yeah, he did, yeah. but I, I knew that uh, I would gain so much tempo that uh, I would be... Because uh, like, this is the second game already that we see Veritas, like, uh, and both times on the left side, so we're like, ah, yeah. oh, there's a pattern here, <laughs> it's, it's funny. But yeah, like looking at the decks, you both played Fire and another element, so you also both add Medines, etc. So we yeah. really thought that this could go either way, and you both went to five damage. Just yeah. Amaranth really sealed the game here, so yeah. yeah. You really had like bigger finishers, let's say, in your deck from Fire. I, um, I was really glad when I get uh, Amaranth drafted uh, towards me. Mm -hmm. I would like a uh, fourth pick, and it didn't uh, get uh, chosen by anyone. So I was very surprised and really happy to get it uh, because I think Amaranth is uh, also one of the biggest tempo cards you can play. Mm. And it, uh, every single game I'm in the free game I did, Amaranth just uh, gets to the for the finisher. Nice. Like, uh, just break a forward and you get uh, another big dude on the, fo on the field. He arrives when he needs to. Because like uh, we were concerned about like I just checked this now, but I see that the big difference is that he had three Euroas, so yeah. like he could really get it when he wanted. It actually got you with uh, yeah, the first one. You didn't yeah, see yeah, it coming. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I didn't see it. Yeah. I, w I was checking. Okay, what's uh, what's the big deal there? Yeah. And I thought that he, when he did it, I was like, okay, sure, it works, but I thought that he would have. Um, like a summon behind? No, 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 he didn't have any card. Yeah. But that, uh, I thought that he valued more his uh, Archangel MR. Uh. So I didn't think he would uh, attack um, and like that. Yeah. So like, uh, there, there might be something and uh, whatever. I, I'm gladly... Uh, yeah, you know for the future. Maybe you can yeah. do this off your own yeah. in the future one. But yeah, we saw like... Uh, he, he did that both times. Like just hero, Red Mage. Yeah. <laughs> so it's always like, oh, this I is uh, getting a lot of value. Fire right. is a really incredible in draft because yeah, yeah, you, can, you can put pressure and remove forwards. And in constructed, you just uh, end up not doing enough pressure and your forwards don't do enough. 
But in draft, uh, people don't have the answers they need to twist. Is there an actual reason why you chose water? Or it's just because it's the, like the best thing you thought you could go for with what's re uh, remaining in the packs? I, um, my, f like my first six picks was only fire. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a pack with nothing, nothing useful. And uh, I chose um, Echo. Yeah, we saw Echo. Yeah, Echo because now I had, um, I had a mar Madine yeah. at first yeah. in the first few picks. So I'm like, okay, in case if I play water, I can use Echo to get Madine. Yes. And uh, with the card um, Echo draw, I will be fine uh, if I. Uh, yeah, if you just use her as a blocker. Yeah, and, uh, which you exactly did. And finally, uh, everything was taken. I was uh, ice right in front of me, water on my right. Ice on the left, I water on the right. Uh, Earth was also kind of taken, and I don't like playing Earth at all. Okay. So I was like, okay, um, seems like there is a lot of water coming from my uh, left, so I'll just take them and uh, I'll be fine because uh, fire comes from your right, water from the left, and I'm fine. Huh? Yeah. All right, cool. So you're 2 and 0. Oh, the, um, on day 1, you were at 5 2, right? Uh, I was at 5 2, yes. Yeah, so you're now 7 and 2. No, it was, it was the third game. So oh, sorry, like it's 8, two eight and think. 2. So you're pretty much ensured to be in top uh, 8. Yeah, I, think. I kind of think, yeah. Yeah. So, well, we'll still hope that you, you win your fourth and last game. Yeah. You go 4 and 0. And uh, we'll see you in top 8 so later on today. So, yeah. congratulations again. Thank you. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to come back later with the final round, uh, round 4 of the draft. Before moving to top 8, we'll make the announcement on stream, uh, of course, to know who's the top 8. So, we'll be right back with the round 4. Thank you.